Lord, sorry, sir, but only authorized personnel are allowed past here. Ring, ring. No, uh, excuse me. Are you still What the bird? Copy that, sir. Apologies for the delay. Please. Found a place to transport the bodies? Sit rep on the other squares. Give me a sit rep on the other squares. It's like I told you, someone went on a rampage, and now... I'll take it from here. I am Dio. As park director, it's my pleasure to welcome you to this, our gilded paradise. <laughs> we meet again, young man. If you'd like to go another round, I'm always game. Seriously? A director from head office was attending a Coliseum match earlier, when their security detail was gunned down. Both guests and staff were caught in the crossfire. That's terrible. The assailant took care to knock out the cameras. And so we have no image of their face. But according to eyewitness reports, it was a man with a gun grafted to one arm. And that's when it hit me. I knew this man. He was one of several fugitives we were warned to be on the lookout for. Nigh as tall and muscular as I, yet brash and brazen. With an ever-present scowl that smolders behind his sunglasses and... A gun for an arm. Tell me, does that sound like anyone you might know? Now wait a minute. Barrett might have a temper, but he'd never do this. Though I'd like nothing more than to believe you. This tells a very different tale. No, we... Listen, this couldn't have been Barrett. And what makes you say that? The cameras. It's not his style to avoid the limelight. If he really did kill all these people, he would have had a damn good reason. One that he'd want the world to know about. He'd have made sure you had the footage. Trust me. Well, you do not want for loyalty, which is a quality close to my heart. But this is a serious matter. 
Mere character statements will not suffice. I'll tell you what. Find me the true perpetrator, and I will declare your friend innocent. You have 24 hours, after which you will all be deemed complicit, clapped in chains, and delivered to Shinra. Insurance. In the event you decide to make a break for it. We won't need to. Good. Now go before the Turks beat you to the punch. Wait, the Turks are here? <laughs> Competition's good for the soul. <laughs> Our culprit awaits below, my scrappy friends. In the name of justice, go forth! If you care to follow me, I will be your faithful guide. And the elevator is that way. This way, folks. Like. is called the Dust Bowl, and it is nasty. Once upon a time, it was where the gold saucer employees used to live. But when hordes of fiends started appearing, the staff relocated up top, where it was safe. The building's vacant. All sorts of lowlives, ruffians, and ne'er-do-wells swooped in to stake their claim. Ah, the place it could have been tears me up inside. So, basically another wall market. Ha! A paradise compared to this cesspool. Set one foot inside and it's farewell freedom, so long dignity. I mean, why else do you think they started calling it Corel Prison? Except that prison's got no bars, no rules. Fucking maim, murdering, it's all on the table. In summary, prepare yourselves for one seriously cold reception. This is our stop. Nobody home? Oh, they're home, all right. Stay sharp. Off we go! 
You just wait right there. Hey, boss! Your guests are here! Welcome you to my desert oasis, Cloud. Welcome. Cloud, right? The uh, merc for hire? Got it in one, boss man. But which <laughs> one of you is it? Is it you? Mm -hmm. You? Maybe you? Mm -hmm. Or is it the pooch? <gasps> I'm just messing with you. That there is our man. I don't think we've met. Of course we haven't met. You got brain damage? Dumbass. I'm not the type of player folks tend to forget. Just look at it. Now, you may not know me, but I know you. And why do you think that is, why do you think? Mr. Mercenary? Mm -hmm. Ha! I'll Let's tell you why. Because it's my business to know. Yeah. And what kind of businessman would I be if I didn't have the scoop on the man who brought down Donnie C? Yeah. Let think me just say, it. bravo. Well done. We're looking for someone. Hey there, hi there, ho there. No need to explain. Intel's my bread and butter. Really gotta tell you twice? Uptown secrets always trickle down. Which is why I'm ever so certain that you'll be useful. What do you want? So the son of a bitch with a gun for an arm? I got him under lock and key. Out in the middle of the village. Now I'm a generous guy, so I'd be happy to tell you where to find him. But only if I get a little something from you first, understand? A little something being a shitload of money. I want stacks of it, heaps of it, mountains of it. I mean, did you hear what he did? Your buddy shot Shinra troopers in broad freaking daylight. So I ain't about to give him up for free. You think my prison runs on good deeds? No, sir. It runs on guilt. So much so goddamn guilt. So yeah, Gil, that's what I want. And relax, I know you don't have it on you, but I got an idea on how you can scrape some together. I'm entering you and one lucky chocobo in the races, and you are gonna win. <laughs> on that note, till you bring home the bacon, I'm gonna hold on to your pizzas. Help us out. Hey, chill out, kiddo. We'll take excellent care of it. Unless you fail to deliver, in which case, well, let's just say... There are plenty of other ways to raise the funds I require. Hmm. Can put a price on anything. Ah, uh -uh. that's guts to you. Got that, jockey boy? As for all those pesky race details, talk to Garth here. I got you, boss man. Don't let me down, huh? Later. All right, Mr. Merc, let's go meet your bird. <laughs> Better stick close, you hear? <laughs> hey, Creepazoids, what are you planning on doing with us? Suppose I could always ninja myself out of here. For vultures. No need to worry about us. We can handle ourselves. Good luck. We're rooting for you. Well, this is a fine state of affairs. You will get us out of here. Won't we, Cloud? I was just treating the meat of the food. I just hope Barrett's safe out there. Be careful, okay?
This here shop's got Gus's seal of approval. your new champ. Hmm. He's all yours. So you're Cloud the Merc. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting someone so pretty. Pretty shrimp. Hi, Mister. Chocobo Wrangler. Pleasure. Wait, Cloud? Aren't you that kid from the ranch? Oh, hang on. You two know each other? What happened? We were making our way to the saucer for Pico's racing debut. When these ones nabbed us. Hold up. How about you tell them the real story? How you were dying out there in the dunes? How we saved your scrawny ass? <sighs> Ungrateful little piece of shit. So, you want me to race Pico? In a fire. <laughs> the one and only. In that state? Our trek through the desert did a real number on him. Can barely lift a claw. If he doesn't eat and regain his strength, I don't fancy his chances. Good thing his jockey's on the job. Pico needs food, and you're gonna find it. Fine. I'm coming too. Okay then. Grab that bird some grub and bring it to me. I'll be waiting. Establishment, please peruse the selection. My store will always be open to you. I have undergone a version upgrade. Your Queen Tussens level is no improve your performance to challenge me. Don't read so good.
Completely demolished. Well played, good sir. But my problem is Someday, I hope to join the Gold Saucer's grand stable of performers. That's why. But my way. I'll be here for a while. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Knight. And I have obtained intel on a new opponent for you. There is a somewhat mysterious player by the name of Nafalon in North Corel. Having proven yourself as a knight, I believe you can defeat this formidable foe. Want to know my secret to victory? I take it you're here. Ugh. <laughs> because I'm me. So.
Well, shit. I have a confession. You see, my dear, even though it's my surefire tip, a while back, I dreamed this, which is why. Next time, you better bet I'm gonna be sauced. Those Anyway. <laughs> that would be the person who's a great place to let your car down, you know? So I got into the habit of acting tough and yelling. Anyone who looked at me would also make good, decent people, even though I, I got so fucked <laughs> because you, so I'm going to do it like this.
This year's shop's got Gus's seal of a Go on and make him a splash. down here in the Dust Bowl make for excellent subjects, let me tell you. Everyone here is so raw and authentic. I'm truly spoiled for choice. Let me know if you stumble upon any promising spots around here. I also happen to know that you've racked up a few QB wins at the casino. As its owner, allow me to express my gratitude. Some players have no restraint. You did me a great favor. Take this as a token of my thanks. Before you go, though, I have some cards I'd highly recommend for a player as skilled as yourself. You won't want to miss out. People lose interest when they start thinking they can't win. That's why it's important to shake things up once in a while. By the way, don't breathe a word about this to the folks upstairs. Unless you want to find yourself behind bars again. I suppose the produce here ain't all bad. I mean, compared to the stuff folks are growing out in the grasslands, it's downright dire. But hey, I ain't picky. Keep your noses to the grindstone, people! You better pray you're able to make bread. Because we eat more than just late peas. Hey, Cloud. It's me, Cadley. This is a considerably dangerous location, so I decided to disguise myself. How did I do? All things like these are meant to elicit a calming effect, so I should be safe. Unfortunately, we can't say the same for Baron. I'm confident of his innocence, though, and I will do everything in my power to help prove it. but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities.
higher rank is required to check. Meditations on the outlaw life. Guess his autobiography now in stock. Read the only thing worth reading. It's a start, but nowhere near enough. Yeah, I'd say you're looking pretty good. Better be what are you talking to me for? Go get the food! presents the one, the only, Desert Rush. For a limited time only, if you're in the high score, step right up and give it a try.